Good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished His Majesty continued health and happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation for their development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Majesty the King continued health and happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation for their development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain following an official visit to Russia at the invitation of the Russian President Vladimir Putin. His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the visit, His Majesty held talks with the Russian President on the existing deep-rooted bilateral relations and ways to further bolster them in various fields, in addition to regional and international developments. The visit also included the signing of a number of agreements and MOUs to enhance joint bilateral cooperation. His Majesty also paid a visit to the International Military Technical Forum, Army 2016, held in Kubinka in the Moscow region. Upon departing Russia, His Majesty the King was seen off at Moscow's airport by the President of the Pastors of the Church of Antioch, Russia, Protocol Director of the Russian Foreign Ministry, the Bahraini Ambassador to Russia, Russia's Ambassador to Bahrain, Vagiv Garyev, and members of the Bahraini Embassy. His Majesty sent a letter to the Russian President expressing his thanks and appreciation for his warm reception and hospitality. He also praised bilateral relations and affirmed that the visit resulted in positive outcomes which reflect the keenness of both sides to continue to strengthen cooperation in various fields. His Majesty expressed his aspiration to receive the Russian President in Bahrain for the opportunity to continue enhancing cooperation and coordination and to achieve mutual aspirations. His Majesty also expressed pleasure in participating in the International Military Technical Forum. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Russian President and hailed the strong relations between the two countries, wishing him and the Russian people health and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asia Athletics Federation, and President of Bahrain Athletics Association. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced His Majesty Bahraini gold medalist at the Olympic 3000 meter steeplechase Ruth Jibbet and the Bahraini silver medalist of the marathon Yunus Kirwa. His Majesty the King presented Jibbet and Kirwa with a medal in appreciation for their efforts in the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. He also received the members of the national youth handball team on the occasion of the winning of the 7th Asian Youth Championship and qualifying for the Tbilisi 2016 Athletics Youth Championships. He congratulated the Bahraini athletes and administrators on these historical achievements. His Majesty said that he was pleased with the outcome and that he is looking forward to forthcoming tournaments. He said that it is the Kingdom's duty to provide full support to the youth through creating athletic training facilities. He commended the efforts of their Highnesses, Sheikh Nasr and Sheikh Khaled, and the efforts of Bahraini Athletics Association and the Handball's Board of Directors under Chairman Ali Isis Haqi. His Majesty expressed his pride in Bahraini youth who enriched the kingdom's achievements in all fields and affirmed his support, wishing them success and prosperity. For their part, Jibit and Kirbwa expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for presenting them with the medal, which will inspire them to work harder and reach greater achievements. They commended the King's constant support, which assisted them in achieving the gold and silver medals. They also expressed their thanks and appreciation to Their Highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for their support and encouragement and for providing all the necessary means which led to these globally recognized achievements. 
The National Youth Handball team also expressed their thanks and appreciation for the receiving the constant support and encouragement of His Majesty the King. طبعا باستقبال جلاله الملك لابطال البحرين وبطلات مملكه البحرين 
هذا مو بشيء غريب ولا لاول مره نقوم بهذا العمل ولله الحمد المسيره الرياضيه في مملكه البحرين اليوم هادفه للمجتمع ومنافسه لدول العالم ولله الحمد بالكوادر الموجوده عندنا فهذا هو سرنا وسر نجاحنا في تطور هناك في المجالات العمر العمريه للرياضيين هناك اهتمام للرياضي انه يصبح ان شاء الله محترف في في المستقبل فهناك عندنا برامج كثيره سواء كان برنامج الموهوبين او برنامج البطل الاولمبي والى اخر اكتشاف المواهب يعني الحمد لله مستقبل الرياضه في مملكه البحرين مطمئن وان شاء الله انه في ازدياد والله ما ينقص الجميع شيء كبير يعني دول مجلس التعاون من الدول الداعمه اللي للناس سواء كانت في الرياضه او المجتمع او الى اخره العزم موجود القوه موجوده الاراده موجوده كل اللي احنا ان شاء الله نطمح له في هذه الايام المقبله وخططنا المستقبليه ان يكون هناك يعني اكثر في مجال الاحتراف ونطبق مجالات الاحترافيه اللي تطبق في الغرب تكون عندنا عشان على الاقل نجاريهم في وقت التدريبات ونفس الوقت تفريق اللاعب اكثر هو الشخص اذا صار محترف مو معناته انه يتدرب اكثر هو بالعكس هو يرتاح اكثر فلذلك يؤدي ازيد a telephone conversation was held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, during which they exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al Adha. They wished the people of the two countries and Arab and Islamic nations further development and prosperity. A telephone conversation was also held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Mayor of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. The Mayor of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Jabir Al Ahmed Al Sabah. During the calls, greetings on the occasion of Eid were exchanged between them and His Majesty the King, wishing each other's countries and the Arab and Islamic nation many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged Eid Al Adha cables of greetings with GCC leaders on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty the King exchanged cables with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, the UAE President, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, and the Emir of Qatar, Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty the King wished the GCC leaders abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for their countries and people. His Majesty the King also exchanged cables of greetings with leaders of Arab and Islamic states on the advent of Eid al Adha wishing them abundant health and happiness and their countries and people many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King of Jordan, Abdullah II ibn al Hussein. The two leaders exchanged Eid al Adha greetings, wishing their countries, brotherly people, and the Arab and Islamic nation progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a message of congratulations from U.S. President Barack Obama on the advent of Eid al-Adha. President Obama congratulated His Majesty the King and world Muslims and pilgrims on the occasion. The U.S. President added that Hajj is a strong proof of the ability of millions of people of different cultures and countries to communicate, prayer, and meditate together. He also asserted that Eid al-Adha is an opportunity for charity work. The American President praised the millions of Muslims and the states and all over the world who present humanitarian help during the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid al-Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health and happiness and many happy returns. He also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation further development and prosperity. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders and Prime Ministers of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them good health and happiness and many happy returns and to their countries and people for their progress and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them good health and happiness and many happy returns on and to their countries and people for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the launch today of a national government forum under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, which will take place on September 18th. It will be centered around the Kingdom's continued efforts to deliver a modern and dynamic public sector that can facilitate long-term prosperity through private sector growth and provide public services that meet citizens' needs and aspirations. The government forum 2016, which will be the first of its kind in the kingdom, will bring together ministers and officials from across the government to explore ways in which even greater sustainable diversification and economic prosperity can be delivered. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that enhanced government collaboration and international, rather internal coordination will be crucial to helping Bahrain adjust to rapid global and regional socio-economic changes. He said that the newly launched government forum will facilitate interaction and the exchange of new ideas across all levels of government. He also highlighted that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives and leadership have and continue to inform every aspect of Bahrain's long-term development, noting the Prime Minister's commitment to advancing all sustainable diversification efforts. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 3,200 housing units, the Ministry of Housing strengthened its efforts on allocating housing beneficiaries from the existing waiting list. The Ministry stressed that the final preparations continued after office hours and through weekends in order to complete them in time for Eid al-Adha. The Ministry expressed thanks and appreciation for the care and support given by the wise leadership. It added that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's last visit to the Ministry of Housing after it successfully distributed the first batch proved the will of the leadership to efficiently and effectively deliver the housing units to beneficiaries on the waiting list.